know it's not a cuda because he hasn't been airborne. And he has stayed near the surface. Nah, he hit it right. He hit it right. He spooled it out. Oh, yeah, he took 100 yards of line like I wasn't even freaking standing. White tackle, kingfish. Oh. Getting that workout today. Yeah, I'll tell you what, my biceps hurts. Oh, yeah. Arm and back is not your day. Coming to you here in a second round. Kingfish, you definitely don't want to put a lot of pressure on them. He's about to take off. There he is. He's staying real high. And you got a smoker. <laughs> yeah, I just saw it too. I mean, I can see the graph now. It comes all up to two feet. Yeah. I thought it was up there where the nervous water was, but yeah, it's, it's that big of a pot. It is, yeah. Here we go, you ready? Yep. One and done. Full meat. Go free, go free. Should I keep letting this sink? I don't know about that. I don't know that much room. We want full stuff. You left it open that long? Uh, yeah, I didn't make it. It didn't sink. Yeah. It wouldn't Look at sink. the bait in front of the boat. I told you, bro, it was a dum dum Look ball. at the boat. It's hey. a dum dum ball. Look at the ball. <laughs> hey. That was bad. Might be a one and done. Uh, I mean, is there ever really a one and done? So, uh, I don't know. This November bait game along the West Coast is pretty darn good. It's pretty special right now, man. Yeah, it is. Water quality is great. I wish it was like the same day. Yeah, right? You know, I like the beans. This is days where you throw 20, 30 times. Five baits, 10 baits to throw. Those days are coming. So far, so good. Yeah, I love it, man. Yeah. Nice point. So much bait out of the boat. Well, as you can see, Aus is loading up the bait. We're back down here with uh, Chase and Axe and Charters down in Boga Grand. And uh, another perfect day out here. I don't know what we're gonna do. We might do some reef stuff today. I don't even know what's in store. We haven't even talked about it. Just got down here. Sun's just coming up behind me. Bait's really good. Boat's about loaded. I mean, we're not even chumming for this bait. We're riding around seeing these pelicans dive, seeing these huge schools of bait underneath the boat, make a toss and fill up the well. So can't ask for any more than that to start a day. Now we're gonna see what comes next. First one ever told us that was the uh, frog dog. We told us that. I was like, I get that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm about to get eaten. <laughs> he was running. Are you gonna eat him? Or did you already take him off? He did take him off, huh? Son of a gun. I don't know why I haven't opened up that one because we're in the other one. I 
That's money. If I can keep him on this time, he's gonna get eaten. This looks hungry over there. Decent little fish. Glad it wasn't the first cast. I think so. That's what I'm gonna go with. A little red fish. I'm glad I eat the first one off. Oh man, how about that? I'll let you catch the first one. Good little red fish. I still tore it from last time. Still never healed. That still got me good. Good little redfish to start the morning. Go back another day. Ooh, he's ready to go. With little white baits, I'm gonna take them easy today. Come right through the eye socket. Let them rip. They're pretty fired up. Better than mine. I think they're about twins. Oh, yeah, little twins. Not the one I saw blow up on that bank. Snooks. See ya. Swimming for the life. Right. Oh, they hit a grand slam in this first spot. Redfish. Uh, redfish, buddy. Redfish and uh, snook. Baby. It's good. It's good to see these little guys though. It is. Healthy fishery. Yeah. He didn't even grow into his spots yet. Look at that. Yeah, no spots. Huh? No None? spotter. Zero. Wow. I usually see at least on one side. Mm-hmm. No spotter. He's going to grow up and make somebody a lot of money one day. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I was thinking the same thing. Those man. That, was, that was a challenge all right so we started on the inshore side i didn't know what we were doing this morning we pull up on this flat and we've already caught two snook two redfish and a handful of casts throughout some chummers and uh saw a couple bigger snook blow up so we're gonna see what happens see if we can find some better quality fish in the bank and then uh see where the day takes us like i said it's another perfect day we're just throwing some uh what are they two odd circle hooks two odd. two odd circle hooks under some little corks about 18 24 inches and uh fishing the flats anything anybody can do any family member can do it kids can do this this is a good time right here so i'm gonna get back after it and we'll see what we catch speckle trout no quick release quick release Oh. You said it. Better fish. A little better fish. They are fired up. I really want to catch one on this black bait, but I think the guy just because we tried so hard yesterday. That's a good fish. <laughs> That's all you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn lady's been far and snook. 
Stop it. You're gonna get broke off by a ladyfish. Ah. No. Massive ladyfish. Pulling himself down. Hooper outward. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> Quick release right in the hand. Oh, I think we got our snook fix. Yeah. Right, when's the last time you fished the uh, the shack? When's the last time? Yeah. Three weeks ago. Any biggies there? Were those Jewfish still in there? Beautiful snug. There you, buddy. Good fish looking them all out there. Bunch of snook chumming them up. Mm. Oh, there he is. He's on the back of it. Oh, there he goes. Gosh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was a big one, too. Oh, that was her, dude. Tail off. <laughs> on the top water? Yeah. Oh, damn, dude. Oh. Ah, did you get that? Oh, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> All right, so the bite's getting so good. Uh, we're getting him fired up that he decided to throw some top water and uh, just got blown up by a huge fish. We're gonna give it a couple more rounds, see what happens. So we got a top water on. We're gonna work it back through here. Austin's gonna work it through there. Like I said, he got blown up on once. A lot of times when you get these smaller fish around and you throw in live bait, the best thing to do is tie on some big bait like this, big top water, big swim bait, and you'll get the big fish to blow up. So we had the one snook, and then we also had, look like redfish rolled on, a big redfish. Let's see if we can't hook a big fish like this. Weed out some of these smaller fish. <laughs> Got them on top water, huh? good trout, respectable trout. Usually every fish on top water is going to be respectable. Usually, I've seen fish the size of the top water eat them. So them hooks need to be bent in yeah, a little, they're a little, they're a little open. They're a little seasoned. Yeah. Those motors, we've seen them. Yeah. Oh, oh, see ya. Blimey guy. See ya, bud. <laughs> Looks good in the water. He's solid size. <laughs> As if for the top water. I got the trout, got a redfish to blow up on it, got a snook to blow up, but it couldn't land the other two. These fish are definitely short striking it, um, but it's fun to watch. Um, you know, hoping to get a big one, but we'll try somewhere else. We're gonna make a move here. Leave these stuck alone and uh, go try something else. But all the guys that are, they got a boat next to us fishing too, the same flat and the same thing. Uh, you know, they leave a bait out there and they go to go reel in and the fish just picks it up. So they're kind of short striking and just picking it up. They're not really, uh, sucking it in when they eat it so when it comes to top water it's hard to stick them like that we get some good blow offs but it's hard to stick them so we're gonna make a move i don't know where we're going i don't know if we're going near shore reefs or on another flat trying to catch a big fish or some docks who knows we'll uh see where he takes us next that's a shark i'm watching him that was a shark back there uh-huh he is feeding I look like a cobia. Since this is gonna be instant, I'm gonna jump the first one. Okay. 
speed of the instant, so. That was pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them all out there. All right, so we made a run out to the reef. We're on a near shore reef about five, 10 miles offshore. And uh, we're sitting in about 40 feet of water out of Boa Grande and threw out some chummers, sharks, look like kings, look like maybe some bonita, who knows. But I didn't put a rod in the water because Allison threw out a, a free line bait and get a bait? I knew it wasn't gonna take long. So let's see what this one is and then I'm gonna get up in the water and get y'all some first person view of this. Cause uh, oh yeah, we're gonna be worn out. Oh, I got a king right behind the boat. Oh yeah, I see him right there. It's a big king too. It's a good 20, 30 pounder. Yeah, either it's a king or a little cooter. I couldn't get a great look at it. Yeah, I couldn't tell either. We'll drop down some underwater cameras too in a little bit. Catch two or three and then get the cameras down. This thing's loaded. Sharks behind the boat. I'm scared I'll put that camera out. That shark's gonna come try and eat it. I might be running. Let's do it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> be cool to trail it. We'll catch him, bro. Just don't All right, we lose it or lose it. See if he tries to eat it. This is feeling like a shark here. What is it? This is feeling like a shark. A big head shake. Could be a cobra too, I don't know. Big head shake. Been pulled many times out here. It's a great thing about fishing near shore or offshore. You never know what you're gonna hook. As I'm standing on the edge of my jaw. Get down. I wanted to see what these glass rods were about, man. Big head shake. That is a big old head shake. Look at him, King smacking right there. Dude. That is King right there. You see him? Uh huh. There's that shark. Yeah. That shark is all over the place. He, he is hungry. Right Look at him right there. Mm hmm. You can eye on that shark. Get away from that wreck, buddy. It's feeling kind of brown. All right, while he's uh, fighting that fish, I'm going to get a rod on and get the camera on and. Uh, I'll show you what he's got in a second, but I'm gonna get baited up. I can't watch anymore. All right. <clears throat> Do a free line with no weight? No weight, just free line. So I gotta cut this weight off? I would. You don't. What rod you got? Oh, he's gonna light it. Yeah, why not? It worked. No, nah, I might. If I saw it was a shark, I'd probably pull spool. Pull spool. I'd probably pull and spool. Ooh, there he goes. Big shark. You got that out of the way. Yeah, we well, can pick and choose what we got. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Those kings were coming up in there swiping. Oh yeah, they're flashing down there. Yeah. I think that's a cuda. That's a cuda. It's a big cuda. Yeah, why not? Why not? He's eating it. He looked at it. He came over and looked at it. He came over and up and took a look at it. Mackerel? There's that shark swiping away. That was too good. That was? Yeah. I get away from my bait. Shark come up chasing it.
shark ain't playing. God, they're just out of reach back there. The sharks in between me and them. Yeah. There's a bunch of bait we threw down here. They're schooling up the baits. Yeah, we can pop up on the bait. The bait, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the bait's schooling right there. A shark up on top. He's having a field day back there. Man, that's big right there. Dude. I know. That's just right out of reach. That was a king come launching out. Thirty or forty pounds, yeah. He ate it. I don't know how it pulled. It was right in the corner. Yeah, it's right in the corner right there. Watch them eat it. Hey, that's what it's supposed to sound like. No. No, it's not. <laughs> Hooked up again. I'm a bodybuilder and jump just like. I don't have color yet. Oof. Oh. Hey, Cap, why are you so tired? Like a tarp is touching, boys. He's a smoker. <laughs> Absolutely today. The way they're up on the surface, they chase anything. See you, bye bye. So another shark, man, these sharks are highly active on this reef, uh, but we seen some kingfish. I had one, I, we had him fired up. He was eating all the bait back there, about a 40 pound king, and uh, pitched into him and just pulled him. So we're gonna stay after it and try and pick through these sharks and see if we can't find the right, right species. We're at a flat tide right now, right between the change of tide. So when the water gets moving, hopefully some of these sharks will kind of move out of here a little bit. Thing you got. I don't know. It so we moved spots, but uh, I don't know if there's sharks over here or not. Yeah, we're gonna find out in a minute. We're gonna find out. Ooh. I'm gonna go with shark, huh? No, he just broke me off in a rock. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, rut row. Down low, huh? Got me into the juice, dude. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what that was, Bubba. Mm -hmm. That might have been a cobra. Mm. That might be the right one, man.
see him. You think you got on? I got cooter on. That big old cooter? Yeah. Oh, big old jumper. <laughs> that was the king that came through here. Barracuda eating white bait. There he is. Look, 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 look. Yep. Yep. yep, I see him down there. Yeah. Until, uh... Thanks a lot, man. You're gonna get tired. Come fight a cooter. This is where it gets a little hectic. happens when you go to war with a bunch of teeth. Invest in some leader, boys. He started free lining them, he just took off. It's the right kind of bite. Get rocky on you? I'm trying to get down deep. Ooh. Shark? Sharky. Is it really? Yep, it is. Nothing gonna feel like it. So we got him on the stick there. See you, and buddy. She goes, quick release. Quick releases. <laughs> You never know until you try it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the shark. Big old head shakes. Yeah. We're having a crazy hard time keeping our baits away from these sharks. A bunch of kings out here just flashing through our stuff, but the sharks are too aggressive, so we're trying. I really wish you'd pull on that fish. There you go, girl. Get it, girl scout. Oh, oh. I ain't gonna break that reaper rod, Bubba. Yeah, but I'll probably break them off and watch it not be. Yeah, <laughs> big old cobra over here. Woo! The gray suit. Shark man. Shark? It is a shark! Incoming boat flip. Oh, man, he's a monster. Oh, what? You want me to grab him? Yeah. All right, whatever you're ready. That was a lot of work for a little kingfish, bud. But hey, we got us one. It's what we sat out here, came out here to do. Battled through the sharks. We've had our opportunities at some bigger ones for sure, man, but... I'm happy we got this one. Take that hook out and let her go. Oh. Austin wasn't back in the water. He's coming at me! Oh, dude, there's a problem. Austin wasn't back in the water, I don't know. Oh. Two minutes, if that, 30 seconds. Drop back again, I think he's hooked up again on another king, we're not sure. But uh, tide started time moving. My arm recovered. Yeah, definitely not enough time between bites. Tide started moving a little bit, and uh, we're seeing some jacks around here. And it looks like we got a bunch of kings, but you don't know what it's going to be out here on these reefs. What you're going to bite? Switch batteries with all this catching. I'm low on battery. That's the right one. That's got a little more size. Still thinking it's the right one? 
Right now, in the middle, we might be wrapped up. Hey, that already got eaten. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wrapped. Yeah. Yeah. He got real heavy. He wasn't that heavy out the gate though. No, he wasn't. That's why I'm wondering why he got so heavy so fast. Sharks fly, where are you out, dude? Yeah, see anybody blowing up? 13, yeah, you see them blowing up back there. Y'all see them back there? All blowing up on the birds. And we hooked up to the shark. What's that, barracuda behind the shark? Yeah, we got them all. We got them. Bunch of barracuda. Trying to swim that way. See if it works. <laughs> Come on, man. Calm <laughs> down. He's trying to give you back, man. He's trying to get that swim. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This guy's like, this guy's like, that bait was not real. Stop it. Stop. We're talking about 10 year old. Stop it. Yes, good boy. Oh, Just trying muscle. to get the hook out of you and give you back. Trying to get the hook out of you. Stop, stop. <laughs> right, we're going to get the hook out of this one. Get back in the water. Surrender your knuckles. Oh, man. Big, big, big. Oh, no. He's got a big triple tail. Oh, a big triple tail? Nice. We just walked back there under those birds. Did you see the big flash, bro? He's, he's got to be 40 pounds. So, Austin's got a big king on. I just had one smoke me. And uh, as soon as I tightened up drag, right at the knot, it popped where his teeth were. Uh, we don't have any wire leader today. We wish we did. We weren't planning on doing it. Ain't nobody this. need no wire, dude. Yeah. Come on. Quitter. We're making it happen. <laughs> it takes a lot of bites, but making it happen. But he says... <clears throat> He thinks he's got a really big one on. We gonna see what happens. Only 30 pound leader. Yeah, that's the kicker, wrong rod. Wrong rod? Trying to get a bite. We know it's not a cuda because he hasn't been airborne. And he has stayed near the surface. Nah, he hit it right. He hit it right. He spooled it out. Oh yeah, he took 100 yards of line like I wasn't even standing up there. White tackle, king pig. Oh. Getting that workout today. Yeah, I'll tell you what, my biceps hurts. Oh, yeah. Arm and back is not your day. Coming to you here in the second round. Kingfish, you definitely don't want to put a lot of pressure on him. He's about to take off. There he is. He's staying real high. You got a smoker. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> roll. <laughs> yeah, well. We <Me> problemo. <laughs> All that line you picked up. Just get it right back. In your. You know what they do, guy? You know, the, the, the king of the beast is this weekend, not today. So, wouldn't be a day to catch a day. Of 30 this weekend. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll get the perfect days during the week. I went to the little boat division. You're going to catch the big old smoker today. 
course, needs the little rod. Put underneath the 6,000 with the 80 pound on it. That's what I use for inshore. This is a redfish rod. Yeah. This is a reaper rod, redfish rod. This is what I used to throw at schools. But hey, listen, anybody can come out here and catch them on a kingfish rod. Well, not throw the redfish stuff. want to take a picture with you. I think this guy on the boat next to us is walleye fishing. He has no clue what he's doing. Such a goober. Hey, man! He won't talk to us. What happened was, we were out here on this extremely private number. And this guy in this rat boat just think he owns the water, so he just rolls right up. <laughs> this guy, poor guy. Oh, man, we're making a video. Shark? Oh, no. <laughs> it is definitely not. Either. That bait looks really good swimming in the water. I know, that bass bait. That's our current, that's our current chest. Oh, uh, looks like it's swimming really nicely in there. I'm just hoping this guy doesn't get He's on this side, huh? Coming over here now. We probably got some tide and we two second kingfish, so probably the fourth since the tide started, the second one we got on the line. On the floral carbon. Yeah, I don't know how many we broke off. It's a big fish, guys. Yeah, big fish. Right this what we've been grinding for right here. Look at him. Look at him. Bro. Wow. Beautiful fish. Where is he going? Coming around with you. Oh man, beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Y'all didn't get to see that fish, but we did. That fish is big. That is a quality kingfish. That's what we came out here to do. Well, now we came out here to do, but when we got out here, that's what we set out to do. Big old barracuda. Come on, come look at my camera. Oh, look at them all blowing up back there. And jacks are back. Damn it. I want to throw that glide bait. Here, you take this. I'm going to catch one of them. Now yeah. the fight's over. Look at that king. I'm going to show you all guys so we can get them up now. That is a quality king. He does not want to come near this boat, though. Man, don't be these guys today. What is he doing? I don't even know what he's even trying to do. I hope he comes really close. Your turn! He just broke right there. Oh. He just broke right there. That's okay. Oh. Damn. Well, hopefully y'all got to see that big old king. We got, uh, we got him pretty close to the boat, but... He broke on the 30 pound test, so he had to be what, 40 pounds, 50 pounds? Yeah, he's never been a 40. Yeah, every 40, 50 pounds, so. That's okay. We're gonna get back out there, give it another run. All right, so we lost that last one, had two more bites that broke off. Should have brought the wire, but we've had fun with it. We hooked a bunch of fish. <laughs> Look, a boat the size is set up right in our chum slick. We've been throwing chum there for two, three hours. If you're out here fishing, 
don't go behind somebody's boat and set up when they're fishing off the back chumming. It blew the fish out, they're gone. It broke it all up, there's nothing left. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on and uh, take the high road and find somewhere else to fish. So we're gonna try one more area right now and then we'll go from there with it. All right, so we're running out to the next spot and uh, Austin was watching the crab buoys and uh, saw a triple tail on this one up here. So we're gonna see if we can't sight them. I'm gonna put y'all in uh, personal view mode, see if y'all can't see this thing as it happens. See if we can't get them. I don't know how big he was, I didn't see him. I was daydreaming back there, but we're gonna see what we got. Came off a buoy. Far for his liking. Yeah. Oh, baby, triple tail. Come on now. There you go. You got that down drift on. Oof. Hit on the back. It's my first day. Yeah, this some Louisiana time in your life. That's like uh, that's no point. You got a dip nut and scoop him up? Probably good. I mean, he's so tight to the buoy. He's on that back side now. Amazing how they do that, how this triple tail get right on that buoy. You can see him. He does not want that. He ain't looking to eat white bait. I have to give him a live white bait and see what happens. Let's see if we can get another rod in there and see. I mean, the triple tail's just hanging. You see him hanging down there, guys? Austin's hooked on it. Bay's behind him. Hey. Where did that triple tail go? He's down there? Okay, he's just hanging out. Let's see if we can hook him on something else. Huh? Turned on it, looked at it. He didn't want it. He don't want white bait. He wants shrimp. Mm -hmm. All right, bring, bring me right by. I'm gonna try and cane pole with Bob. Yeah, cane pole. I'm trying cane pole. I don't know if y'all can see that triple tail, but he is right there on the buoy. And now it's just principle to try and catch him. So I'm gonna go with the old cane pole trick. Try to keep my line out your way here. Yeah, see so you pull the buoy a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I can't get any closer to the front of his face. Take one with it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm about to snag him. See if he won't snag up. <laughs> I 
He does not want white bait. He says, no, sir. No, thank you. Gosh. A treble hook at. Let's hold on to that rope. We'll see if we can try something else. Grab that rope. Yeah. See, you got a lure? Oh, he's going. He's going down. Yep, I think so. No, he's just taking off right over there. Look at him. He's up on the surface by himself. So that triple tail did not want to eat. All we have is white bait on the boat, and he didn't want white bait, as y'all can see, hopefully. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep moving on to that next spot, but good eye on him. There he goes. First drop. Oh, the lane. Yep. What's the limit on these suckers? What is it on? 10 or 12 inch minnow? 10. 10? Can I throw them in a live well? Yeah, I'll take them with me. If we catch a couple of them, I'm going to take them. Yeah, I'll take them. I got ice just in a bit of my truck. Yeah, some those down there. Some That's good eating too. I ain't had them in a while. Oh, it's good. Fry some of them bad boys up. I see fish swimming behind the boat right here. Yeah, there's some fish swimming in there. Might be a free line down to them. Hoof around the ledge in 200 feet of water. So hanging 50 and just... Get your bigger. Yep, that's exactly how you do. Exactly we were getting our big snapper like that. Well, oh, I can see him down to 50 feet. Mangrove. Mango. Mango. Little mango. Mango. See ya. Oh, small fish. We come up. Oh, grouper. Going through the whole thing. Little gang. Going through the whole food chain. Yep. Heck of a species day. Little gag grouper. Oh yeah, almost lost rod. I mean, literally I had a half a finger left on that rod. I look at it, you and it was oh, yeah, just so smashed it. Oh, oh yeah. I just smashed it. Yep. Gag. I mean, there's such a difference in the bite, huh? Oh yeah, absolutely. God, I, I mean, that gag just smashed it. First took. Oh look. Is there a bait in its mouth? Three. Oh my gosh. He's been down there. That's what I'm feeding down there. Whoa. Beautiful. Oh, oh been a nasty. Beautiful guy. See you next season, buddy. You'll be ready next season. You're gonna be ready. Alright, so we're out here on a reef about 40, 50 feet of water. And uh, we're bottom fishing now. We're gonna try one more thing, show you all the different things you can do out here. Throwing half ounce weights, we don't have a lot of current with a knocker rig. Simple knocker rig with what, a three-odd hook or so? Yeah, twos and threes. Twos and three-odd hooks. So 
hooking a couple of fish. I'm gonna try and take a couple home for dinner. Uh, just feeling like I wanna fry some fish up today or tomorrow uh, before I get on the road, but we're gonna see if we can pull off this bottom here. It's so we'll some good numbers, some family numbers. We're gonna see what we can do. Feels like a little grouper. A little grouper it feels like. It'll be a snapper. Bang. Oh no, big grunt. We can move. Yeah, we can move on those. Definitely knocking all the species out the bucket. Definitely knocking all the species off the bucket list today. So yeah. Gag groupers, huh? Little gaggy. Third gag. A taco gag. <laughs> I know this little guy wasn't a rock. Oh, dude, check this out. Check that out. Oh, look at that good mangrove. That, that going to the box, that's rice. dinner. There you go. Gotta keep you fed, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Good little mangrove. Sandwiches, baby. Look at that mouth, boy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what that mouth do? I got one of them before. <laughs> Ooh, I got one. Ooh, lost mine. Ah. Hey, grouper. Another species. Little buddies. Oh, man. Little red grouper. He says, hi, hi, hi. See you, buddy. Go up and be big and strong. I'm contributing, Dad. Oh, yeah, mangrove. Lazy lays. Just had to stop caring so much about a bite to get a bite. What happened that there? Good. That's what happened there. Don't bite me. Don't you. No, I say you're going to get your first one. All right, that's idea. Another mangrove. Another little dinner fish. Little guy. Little guy. Ooh, he's a, he's a line rubber. Check him. A line rubber. All right, we made it back to the dock, caught a bunch of fish in the bottom, put a couple in the box, running low on battery, but make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel and check out Chasing Action Charters down in Bogus Grand. He does it all, all from near shore to inshore to tarpon season. Tarpon season is right around the corner. We were just talked about on the ride in. We're all looking forward to it. This is the capital for tarpon. If you want to come catch a lot of tarpon and see some really cool stuff, check out our videos in this area and then come down to see us. Also, check out Reaper Rods, man. It's the only rods we use right here. Uh, we love them. Austin, you can check him out in one of our videos. He's done one or two videos with us. We just got off the phone with him. He's getting all our rods ready for tarpon season. But uh, there's a lot more to come this winter on the near shore action and stuff before we get to that. So we'll be back down here. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.